Happy autumn. Obviously, as it's now the autumn season, I really think some new books are in order. So today we're gonna to go somewhere really exciting, somewhere that I've wanted to go forever, and that is the biggest Waterstones in Europe, which is in London, Piccadilly. Obviously, I live in London, but I've never been to this Waterstones before, but it is absolutely massive. It's like five stories high, has books from floor to ceiling. I am really scared for my bank account though. That is one problem of today. But I cannot wait, and we're gonna head there now. I've got up, got ready, had a cup of tea, did my makeup and everything, and obviously I had to bring you guys with me. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. Shopping, you could put the books in the bag. I just said that. <laughs> We're in the young adult section and of course I had to find my faves. I had to pick them up. Obviously I'm not gonna buy them, but I've seen them. I've seen them in here, don't worry. But there's so much in here, guys. I've never seen this many cat cart books in a store before. So this is really good because I love cat cart so much. I'm looking in the fantasy section, but obviously I'm still like really, really new to it. So I'm not like 100% sure what I'm exactly looking for, but I'm just browsing at the moment and just seeing what happens. What is it? Well, that's your dinner, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds a bit rubbish to me. Adidas. Adidas. Why would you want to give the trainers? Just go on JD Sports website. <laughs> Love it here. Don't ask me why I'm in the cooking section because I actually could not tell you. I have no idea. Oh guys, look at this. We are collecting them. I don't know if that's gonna fit in there. There you go. Too socially awkward to talk. I was literally just saying to my mum how I come into a bookstore and I never browse for new books. I always just point at ones that I've got and that I've read and I've gone, I've read that, I've read that, I've read that. And I never actually look at new ones. Toxic trait. <laughs> Thank you. 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 So for my birthday, my granddad got me tickets to go and see We Will Rock You in theatre. So me and my mum are going to head there now because it starts in about half an hour or so and I'm so excited to watch it because I've been obsessed with Queen for like the longest time. And that's where we're heading. Thought I'd do a little update of the vlog. 
but managed to get five books in Waterstones as well, which is really, really good. But that is the plan. Is it just me? I hate how this feels to have to be fake, but the fake feels so real. Good morning everyone, it is the next day now. I ended up getting back really late last night so I just didn't even bother doing the book haul or showing you what I got or just saying goodbye to this video. So obviously I thought I would do it now. I had a lovely day yesterday with my mum, it was so nice to go into the theatre. It was a different story than I thought it was going to be in the theatre by the way. But it ended up being really really good as well. I was just sitting in, when it started I was like what is this? But it ended up being so amazing. I loved hearing all the Queen music and just everything. That was so good. But I'm actually going to tell you about what you're here for now and that is that I got five books yesterday. These are some of my most anticipated reads, just some books that I saw and I'm obviously going to tell you what they are. So the first one is If You Had Been With Me by Laura Nolan. This has been on my autumn fall TBR for quite a while now. This is one that I knew that I was going to read later on in the year because I just think the black books give me that vibe. Every time a book has a dark cover I'm like yeah autumn, autumn, that's fine. And apparently this book is going to rip my heart and soul out so I'm waiting for that time where I feel like a good cry and I'm just going to pick this book up because apparently it's really really good. I've heard nothing but good things about this so really excited to read that. Okay so the next one is one of my most anticipated reads and I'm going to be for real with you guys. I was going to order it on Amazon but the cover is ugly as f It's so ugly. So in Waterstones I found this beautiful cover of Christina Lawrence, Love and Other Words. This book has been everywhere. It's one of the most popular books at the moment and I've heard, again, nothing but great things about it, but the cover with the real people on that is in the UK is ugly and I'm not buying that, especially because my copy of The Soulmate Equation is quite pretty, but now they're redoing all of their covers and it's just really, really cute. So I had to pick it up because I've been wanting to read it for a long time, but best believe I wasn't buying that ugly cover, no way. So keeping on the Christina Lauren train, I also got my favourite Half Night Stand, which is one that I'd never heard of by them before. I'd heard of Love and Other Words, I'd heard of The Soulmate Equation, I'd heard of Josh and Hazel's Guide to Not Dating, but I'd never actually heard of this one. So when I saw it on the shelf, I was like, okay, that's really cool. I will 100% check it out, read the blurb, and I quite, I quite like the sound of it, obviously. That's why I bought it. But yeah, I'm excited to read that too. The next one's one that I'd never heard of before. I'd never heard of this, I just saw it on the shelf and decided to pick it up. And that is With This Kiss by Carrie Hope Fletcher. This is about a girl who appears normal, but she has this secret like power thing that whenever she kisses someone on the lips, she can see how they're gonna die. The way I would abuse that power so bad, I'd be like, tell me, tell me now. But I just thought I'd never read something like that before. Obviously I've read things where people have powers, for example, Shatter Me. This seemed like a more romance based kind of version of it and I just thought it sounded really cool. I'd never heard of it before. I will let you know if it is good because I do plan on reading it soon. Last but not least is one of my more recent finds and more recent anticipated reads. I'd heard of this book a while ago and it was one of them things where like I wanted to read it, I liked the idea of it, but it wasn't high up on my radar. I wasn't fussed if I read it right now or not. But then I saw it in Waterstones yesterday and I just had to. I had to pick it up. It was just right there staring at me and that is Say You Swear by Megan Brandy. This is so popular at the moment. This is like a rugby I think or like American football type romance. Correct me if I'm wrong because I actually have no idea and then I didn't even know this but apparently this is really really sad as well. So I think I've gone on like a books that are gonna make me cry theme when I went shopping yesterday. I was in an emotional mood apparently but yeah this just seems really really good. It is quite long though I will say the font isn't too big it's not too small either but it's like nearly five well, it's 500 pages okay it's over 500 pages but look at the flop how cool is that literally what more could you want from a book i love that oh my god <laughs> So these are all the books that I got in London yesterday. Definitely some of my most anticipated reads. Definitely ones that I'd never really heard of or wasn't really on my radar but are now. And that just goes to show it was a successful trip, doesn't it? I've got some ones that I wanted, ones that I'd never even heard of. So that is very, very good. I will keep you posted on if these are good. I will read some of them in videos, spoiler alert. But yeah, I'm very, very happy with that trip. Oh my god, wait. I also spent £14 on the tote bag because I had to and I have already stuffed it to the brim. It is a little bit pricey, a little bit spenny, but I could not have physically carried five books around London with me for the rest of the day with the tote bag that I carried. No way. I think I spent around £57, which actually is not bad at all, considering I bought five books and a tote bag, but I obviously used my gift cards that I got for my birthday, so I think actually what came out of my bank account was about £7. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So I basically got all of that and the tote bag for £7. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
So that is everything for this video. I did hope you enjoyed coming with me and I know that I love filming book shopping videos. They are my favourite videos to film. I love vlogging, I love books and I love buying them. So obviously these are very, very good. But if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and let me know your most recent book purchase as well. I need some more inspiration. Not that I should, I should be on a book buying ban, but whatever. I love you guys lots and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.